Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures and today I am opening up a New Jersey blue box. And you'll probably see before this video our antique fair because I'm going to go to an antique fair. They have them biannually in Petaluma. And um, before I got started into jewelry, I was doing telephones, vintage telephones. So I would go down there and pick up a few phones for refurbishing, you know, rotary dials and things like that. And anyway, so um, I'll do a little video on the antique fair. But yeah, they have it twice a year. They haven't had one. This will be almost two years since they had a... Um, uh, antique fair in Petaluma, so I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, this, okay, I was looking at some of these chains. This one's got some pull to it, so this one, I will probably clean this one up and use, no, this one's got a broken end. This one's just going to um, craft. Well, you know what, no. Yeah, this one's gonna go into craft. I've gone through some of these already and um, not everything. I just kind of glanced through it. And while I was glancing through it, I found this. And so I had this all day uh, working on it. And um, between Gina and Dana, uh, we decided that, I mean, it's pretty much fake. It is fake. Um, and the more I looked at it after I found that out, the more I realized why it is. Um, but this I thought was a Louis Vuitton um, necklace. It has the LV on one of the charms. And these charms are, you know, look like the Louis Vuitton blossoms, hearts, and uh, stars. <laughs> Anyway, looking at this necklace, because I also researched some videos and watched some videos about Louis Vuitton and the jewelry that they make, even the costume stuff is high quality. So I was looking at this thing and there's just so much, uh, you know, they do have finished edges, but like, you know, I would think that this would be finished a little bit better. Uh, also, um, these pieces are not really well finished on the edges. So this is a faux Louis Vuitton. Um, has, I mean, it's really pretty. It goes with what I was wearing, so I wore it today. But uh, anyway, so fake, but that's okay. I mean, we get a lot of great jewelry from New Jersey and that's what this blue box is. It's a New Jersey blue box. So this is another chain. And there's pull, so. Let's see what this, this one actually, yeah, this one's got some pull to it too. And this is um, a broken one. So there's that. This is a total plastic POS. I mean, it looks cheap. But it's, yeah, here's a, a bracelet, looks like it's homemade, and I'm pretty darn, well, it's not magnetic, but it doesn't look like it's any kind of real, you know, precious metal, so we'll see. Put that to the side, because I want to at least do a scratch on it, because visually, I can pretty much tell what is sterling, but there are some items that I can't, I can't tell everything. So there's that. This kind of reminded me of the Swarovski tubes. Um, and this has this kind of magnetic, magnet. Um, and there is a mark on it. It didn't scream Swarovski to me as far as um, that mark, um, it says on here, SS316 China, and then it's got an A 
in a triangle and an I and an L next to it. So I'll research that. Um, looks like a metal mesh around some crystals. I don't, there's no pull. So this is another one I have to do some research on. I don't know what it is. All right. Some of these little chains, make sure they're not gold or silver. I'm not gonna dwell too much on it because I wanna do this one in about a half an hour. So let's see, no pull, that has pull. So this one I will remove from here and do a test on it. So that one will have to be in this pile right here. These guys here. Okay, let's look at some of these pieces that came out of the box. It's nice about having two helpers. My brother Joe is here. My mom Marilyn is here. Um, these are plastic. Oh, it does look like there is a mark on here. So let me get my loop out. There we go. This one says, it does say Trafari with a, um, a copyright mark on it. No plastic beads. Oh, these feel like, these are, these might be glass with some faux pearls. And this. A dual strand, oh, quite tight choker. No mark. Some plastic. No mark. There's another chain. This one. Oh, we got a 925er. I saw that one in there. I'm going, I wonder if that's... Uh, it's tangled up to the point where I can't untangle it. Okay, yeah, we have to uh, baby that one. And there's one yeah. of these. Later, baby. Oh, let me see it. It's what it is. Oh, yeah. It's wedged it's, down inside these little gizmo. Oh, things. yeah, so this is like intertangled within itself. But the chain says 925. Yeah, there's a little spring in there, so the spring's not made of silver. So yeah, we're gonna put this aside and see if we can pull the chain out of this sphere. So, okay, so we'll put that aside. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, piece of wire. There's a lot of wear on this piece. Oh, this is getting a lot of pieces. That's an earring. I know it's gotten mm. stuck in the Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is a cougar face. It is. Oh, it's got a little mark on it, a little tag. And there's nothing on the tag. But that's a cute little cougar face. Yeah. It's not magnetic, but I don't think it's, I mean, there's nothing here to indicate that it is precious metal. So I'll put that aside. There's this on this jelly chain. Oh, that's a nice little chain. It does have a mark on the clasp. This one says MA Stainless Steel China. It's a nice chain. It's really pretty. This might 
have a mark on it. It says Korea on one side and on the other side, nothing. So, and it is not sterling or gold. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. You can always email me about any of these pieces. This is just an unboxing. And, um, you know, if you are interested, email me. I have no problem with you email me, emailing me at all. If you have comments, you know, leave them in the comments it's section. Right there. Um, yes, busted. Busted. Banana Republic, very well worn layering piece. Ooh, these feel like they're glass. This is really pretty. I love that blue. Oh my gosh. Nice flapper length set of pearls or faux pearls. All right. Um, what we got going on here? I'm going to have to get my mandrel out. Oh, this is an earring. Got some rings. Rings and things. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that one. That's a pretty ring. So this one's about, a, this one's exactly a six. Let me turn it the other way because I think it goes the other way. Exactly a six, yeah. And then here's the, and just look and see if there's marks on the inside. I do not see any. There's some pull, but that's a really pretty, pretty, pretty ring. Let's test. Okay. This one said, I think I pulled this one, it said it's um, gold filled. But you saw that what the magnet said, what the magnet did. So I think it's it says 14 karat gold, 14 karat gold filled GF, 14 kgf. So it's a fake, but it's still pretty. It's tiny, 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 and that's like a four and a half. Something like that. Super itty bitty. Here's the loop flap. There we go. This one is looks like it's it's adjustable, but it's sitting right now. It's sitting at like maybe six and a half or six and a quarter. I mean, I'm pushing it down. But there's the other this side of it. I don't even know if this is a ring. It might be. Or a ring enhancer. This one just doesn't feel like sterling. Anything special. This one's almost a five. Here's an anniversary style ring. It's almost a six. Pull. Here it is. Oh, here's an eyeball. An eye. Oh, no, this is really worn. It's like a five and a quarter. Here's a double pearl. I wouldn't even know how. Is that like, I don't know. I wouldn't even know how to measure that. Because look, when you put it on the mandrel, it does that. 
So, I guess it would be uh, maybe a five and a half. This one is teensy tiny. There are a lot of tiny rings. This one is a almost a five. That's what it looks like. Here's a one. This one is a four. It's very worn. this is. It's adjustable and it is sitting at six and a quarter. It has rhinestones in it and some sort of a track, like a petroglyph. Then there's this one. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's see if there's any marks on the inside. Does show some wear. Don't see any marks. And it is magnetic. So it's a seven. It's really pretty though. Look at that. It's a nice. Doesn't look like anything's missing out of it. All right, more rings. Rings and things. Stretchy. Yeah, I know. They're already tighter than themselves. Some of this stuff is. These are glass. This is a bad lot. It's a bad lot, really bad lot. It is. Thank you. I never, this is the worst I've ever seen with Daniel. Oh, that's a pretty little. Glass, New Jersey, but um, but they have better stuff from New Jersey. So these might be silver wire, but uh, yeah, we're having a lot of trouble with some of these chains. There's a lot of chains in here. Okay, this one I saw, and this I know is a Tory Burch um, tag. What I don't see in here are any Tory Burch marks on the insides of these three bracelets, but it is tethered together here. So I'll have to see if these are actually Tory Burch. And size-wise, yeah, they're, they're probably a seven. Okay. Looking at more, here's a nice little toggle link bracelet. Lots of wear. This one does not have a maker's mark, but it's a nice clamper cuff. This one, a couple little butterflies with no mark. That's cute. I don't know what this is. bracelet another chain and it's magnetic put that aside did I already do this one this one yeah I don't know if I did this one it's looped in here four times through an earring let's hold on that one here are a bunch of little bangles doesn't have any pull. It's got that tone of sterling. We'll see. This one too. It probably isn't, but we'll see. I like to be sure. It's another one of these stretchies. Oh, cute little brooch. That's really cute. And there's this. Yeah, some of the stuff I won't even show because it's really weird or it's ugly or it's 
There's no way. Uh, yeah, it'll take about four hours. You yeah, want to get some of this stuff untangled. Look at this. Yeah. This says Millie. Alex and Ani. This looks like I have to redo some union work. Oh, this is, looks like sterling. But it also looks like glass. That's sterling. These feel like glass. So let me see if there's a sterling mark on here. I do not see one. But I will test it. So we shall see. Lots to test in here. Here is a clamper with a press lock. That's cute. Looks it's like everything's it's there. Good. It's good. This is J. Crew. It's inside out. Sixty dollars an hour. Uh, I know, really. This is not worth it. Well, no, you're not having fun. Stop. Well, I know that. But what can I do? J. Crew mesh. Lots of wear. Stretchy. You get minimum wages? I pay no wages. <laughs> Slave labor here. Mm. Hmm. These are actually prong set, I think. Those are prong set. These do you not. Can't see that. This one does. You find some SJWs. This kind of screams. Okay, this says J. Crew as well. So another J. Crew bracelet with pink stones. This is probably garbage. Yes. This pair of little earrings. Got some earring pairs here, so I'm happy about that. Wow. Yeah. Oh my goodness sakes, look at these. <laughs> Look at these. This is crazy. These are like runway earrings. <laughs> this one's all bent in. That's easily correctable. What do you want to bite me for? But that, that's pretty cool. They're, I mean, they're cool when you think about it, you know? The right outfit. Ooh, these are These I like. These are glass. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Look at those mamas. I like them. No, these are, there is no way. That's I okay, know, I can. I'm saying. You better off just throwing this stuff away. These are not. I'll look at them, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this one actually is, goes with this chain. Okay, so that's so these do not have any weights. All right, I'll show them. But this one goes with this chain. So that's pretty cool. We yeah. got a set here. Any more earrings in the big Uh, yeah, a whole bunch. There's about eight more in this thing. <laughs> eight more in the big lump. Good, I've got about twelve. Mm -hmm. This says J Crew. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I gotta try and get it all. J Crew. Hooked in here through the links. And... This one says J Crew. I like this clasp. Oh yeah, it's like a toggle almost. It's. The way it goes together. You might, am I supposed to be moving? Yes, you may. It's an interesting chain. Oh my gosh, how did you do that? He, he meant he wanted to. <laughs> that's, that's how it got done. There's another Banana Republic. Also shows quite a bit of wear. Be sure, we'll be sure and put these in little individual baggies so that they don't get re-wrecked. It's an, a really pretty layering piece. There's no mark. Slinky. Oh, this one looks so sad. Oh yeah, we looked at that one. This one. 
This one has one of those 1920 clasps. And there's a way to open it. Yeah, there you go, see? Like that. You go down on that little ridge, just like that. So, so let's see if this is sterling, since it's so old. It might be. So we will test that. This is really pretty. Look at that, it's like a little more of an upscale J. Crew type piece. That's really pretty. New York pin. More chains. Yeah, that's broken. I think the link right here. It was here. Right. 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 I lost the link now. That's okay. It's broken. I'm not going to do anything with it. It says J. Crew. Here it is. This one says, mm, yeah, it does say something in there. J. Crew. J. Crew. That's How does okay. a chain get through that loop? I know, isn't it? It's <laughs> insane. So I've got two of these. It's like some of our congressmen who get elected by miracle. I don't know. Let's see. So yeah, these are two of the similar J. Crews. All right. Copper. This is faux zebra with um it says abs so i'll have to research that this one looks like it's missing a stone right in the center so that stinks plastic this one says trafari that's a nifty little bracelet, little cuff, and these uh, aren't stretchy, but they're bendy, and they're all intertwined, another chain, this does have a mark on it. Oh, I already looked at this one. All right. We're almost done. Nope. Yeah, there's not, I mean, there's some J. Crew and some Tory Burch and a fake uh, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, it does show some promise, but yeah. I thought I would be super excited about this one. And I initially was. And can I hand me that yellow one? Mm -hmm. I don't need the link. This is going into craft. Unless it's. Yeah. Oh. oh, you're not supposed to put your elbow into sharps things. So yeah, that just needs a link there. Let's go into craft. Oh, I threw that. That's just. Oh, yeah, it's a part of something. Looks like tiger eye right there. Well, it oh, looks. Like... Here's its mate. Give me another. Sometimes the value is in some of these. Uh, no, this is fine. It's not broken, Mom. Uh, sometimes the value is in some of the little smalls. Sometimes Goodwill doesn't look very carefully. This says GF Gold Fill, I'm assuming. Yeah, it says Fort 
loved it so much they had it bronzed, huh? 14. Oh, wait. 4 slash 20. So, um, yeah, that's some sort of metal. This might even be a real pearl. I don't know. We'll see. Um, is that Texas? Yeah, the Texas. Uh, oh, no, I thought you said it was from New Jersey. <laughs> I know, isn't that weird? Anyway, so just kind of doing a little bit of a recap. I've got some J. Crew. These J. Crew. Whatever these are. These are. Tori. Tori Birch. Some Trafari. I'll just move all of the designer ones That's over genius. here. Is that undone? Some things I need to test. This is going into craft. I'm going to test that. I'm going to test that. This is really pretty. It reminds me of Trafari or J. Crew or something, but put that in over there. Cute little butterfly. Lovely clamper. Here's another Trafari piece right here. Pair of earrings. Oh yay, a pair of, pair of oh, earrings. These are really nice. I'm gonna test this for silver. It goes together like that. It's pretty cool. I like it. Fall colors, people. This says Millie on it. Millie. Yes. These are. These are heavier than plastic. Might be glass, coated glass. Same thing with these guys. No, these <laughs> feel like they're plastic. This one I'm gonna research. So this might be something. I love these earrings. These are really cool. These are, these are stunners. This is really worn. Cute little pin. This is really pretty. Um, they packed this box. Packed it on a Friday because they had a lot. They're going to research. This is really cool. I like this one. And a fleur de lis. It's a J. Crew piece. It looks really worn, but it's functional. But again, this has got some problems. This I thought was really cool. It's hard to get on, so I'm not gonna try, but that's cool. Well, it's not magnetic. I think I was going to try and do something with it. This might have some sterling on it. This is a set of some sort. Making progress. Lauren, I think we're going to wrap it up. That's kind of interesting. I like that one. This is a layering piece. Here's a, this is really nice metal. This has probably got a maker's mark or somebody made it. It's just the, the way it's made, it's smooth. So yeah, email me if you're interested in any of these items and um, I will get back to you. Um, but in the meantime, before I, 
I'm, I re-rent introduced this stuff. I will go through it a little bit more thoroughly, but I thought you might want to see what came out of New Jersey. There are some other things that still need to be untangled, but not many. So anyway, this is Jeanette with Jan Panda Treasures. Thank you for watching.